Breland went to work for Tyson Fury. But let me get to a couple more Super Chats. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold these Super Chats for a second. I'm going to put this until we get all the way through this. So, what would you, so number one, uh, Drew, uh, please address Sean uh, Randolph's question. And then um, let me know what you think about whether or not, what would, what would your thoughts be if Breland was hired by, by Tyson Fury? Um, you know, Fury runs his mouth. He could, he could put the, uh, he could dangle the carrot in front of the donkey, but the donkey ain't got to bite it. You understand? Um, if Breland goes, then he spiked the water. It's as simple as that. If Breland goes, he spiked the water. Um, I don't care how slow he talk now. Um, we're, we're, you know what this is comparison to? This is this is obviously a, a play. Because really think about it. For years, all we heard was Brill is not really a great coach because all Wilder has is a, is a right hand and he can't box. So what the fuck could he bring to Tyson Fury's camp other than his face? Other than his face. Who was Manny Pacquiao's dietitian? What was that guy's name again? Remember that guy? Condition, or are you talking about the um, his strength Alex and conditioning? Alex Ariza. Alex Ariza. You remember when Floyd hired him? Yeah, yeah, remember yeah. That? Yeah, that was a play. Yeah, Alex Ariza couldn't bring nothing to his camp other than his face. This is the same situation here. So Fury is is pulling every he, rabbit out of the hat. Uh, he could bring things to him. Shit, you don't yeah, even know how much fucking. Dude, Alex Arias probably got sparring tapes and shit on um, on Manny Pacquiao. Oh, of course. Oh, of course, that's what I'm saying. You know, it, it'll be a whole move, but other than his face, as far as technique, no. But who knows? Like, other information, more than likely, he probably could share a thing or two. And we don't know if um, they split. We don't know if it was mutual. We don't know if they had an argument. We were hearing things right after fight night about him being crying outside the locker room and not being allowed in. I don't know how much of that is true because the, the, the TV said a lot of things, but we weren't there. And um, my thing is this. It, it, it might be a mutual agreement for all we know. Um, Lennox Lewis got Emmanuel Stewart midway through his career. And it's not necessarily, it doesn't mean that the trainer that you've been with since you was 12 years old is a bad guy. Um, all it means is that you've learned all you, you all you can learn from him. And in, in order to reach the next level, you have to make some changes. It might not be for the worse. You know, it's like, you know, you've learned. Now, I don't know why for non Khan and all these guys going at the um, Mark Breland, man. Mark Breland was a world champion. And an Olympian, he should he should get more respect. He, he deserved more respect from these guys than what he's getting. He was a he was a, he was an Olympian and a Walter Wade champion. Is what he did? Y'all said y'all said free was cheating. If y'all if you if you go by y'all logic and y'all philosophies and things that y'all been preaching for the past damn near the past year and a half me past year that very was cheating very very had loaded gloves he had objects in his gloves so why so what why why should um breeling get why should breeling why should breeling um get get this shitted on for saving deontay wilder's life because if it wasn't for Mark Breland, it may it won't be a it wouldn't be a third fight. If it wasn't for Mark Breland, now I'm gonna tell for non con this. If it wasn't for Mark Breland, it wouldn't be a third fight. Deontay Wilder would be dead if it wasn't for Mark Breland. Y'all think about that. Y'all put that in your peace pipe and smoke on that for a couple of minutes. And think about that. For non the con, if it wasn't for Mark Breland, Deontay Wilder may have a black suit on and some hard bottoms resting for a long time. I believe Mark Breland saved 
Deontay Wilder in life. Deontay Wilder was going to die that night. That was like the seventh, eighth round. If if Wilder would have went in there two more rounds of that beating, it would have got better, worse brain damage. Only one is only take one good shot, just like a cop that can cut his lights out, and he was getting battered and bruised by a ver a giant. Tyson Fury is a giant. A giant was beating his ass. He was getting beat by a giant caveman. When, when I'm, I'm going by y'all, I'm going by what y'all say. His gloves, a giant caveman with loaded gloves. And Mark Breland saved his life. And this is this this is what this is how y'all this is this is how y'all think the man. He should be getting praised for saving y'all friend's life. I thought I thought um he was y'all buddy, y'all pal, y'all 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 leader. To this day, what you mean, yo people, yo people too, yo people too. He saved this nigga life. And he fired him for saving his life. Fury was breaking his foot off in his ass.